Listen closely and you can hear Courtney Klein scream in fear as she gets ready to repel Coppell High School's football stadium. She's been right there at least 20 minutes. But with the encouragement of her peers, she is able to successfully overcome her fears. I don't like heights, so that is like the worst thing ever for me. I death gripped the entire way down. This exercise is part of the North Texas Law Enforcement Explorer Academy, which is for high school students. There are young men and young women who are interested in law enforcement. One of the things that we like to do with them is we take them repelling. What repelling does is a lot of our young people have fears. It was really scary. I don't like heights. I usually cry. So when we take them on repelling, they're able to overcome their fears. You're starting to feel like an adrenaline rush. Uh, as you're going down, you really don't know how it's going to be because it's my first time doing it. So. It was a pretty good new experience. I felt like I was gonna throw up whenever I first got up there, but once I got on to the side of the building and I actually started going down, it was a lot easier. Some of the explorers tackled the challenge without a worry. It felt pretty awesome. <laughs> a few even chose to intensify their experience by climbing upside down. It was actually fun. Now flipping over, it was kind of scary, but once I started doing it, it was fun. Well, I've done this before, so it was a lot of fun for me, but this was my first year to go upside down, and that was quite a rush. <laughs> Your heart's really, really going, and all you know is I want to get down because it's high. <laughs> The Explorer Academy offers two weeks of intense activities. We did a first evaluation on the first day, and this is our next to last day, so we're doing the physical evaluation today. We've already seen dramatic improvement. We've seen kids who, on the mile, have shaved a minute to minute and 15 seconds off their time. We also stopped by the Irving Police Training Academy and saw the young people taking on a bicycle obstacle course. We'll learn about stopping and being between us and the suspect and getting off our bike. I almost fell off a couple times, so. <laughs> With this academy, it helped me gain more better understanding of what I was doing. And that's what our ultimate goal is, is to provide them with that self-confidence so that they can continue to move on. In addition to these physical challenges, the students have a lot of classroom sessions covering many different aspects of police work. It is all designed to prepare them in a career in law enforcement. We've talk, talked about uh, robberies and burglaries. We've talked about traffic stops. We've talked about traffic laws. We've talked about the penal code. We're learning what the police officers do and we're acknowledging how important they are. We keep them not only physically going, but we keep their mind exercising also. And also every night the kids are assigned a homework assignment. So it's not just fun. They have some work to do and they're able to come back and show us what they've learned. Though taking this class is fun for these students, they hope it helps them reach their career goals. I want to go into the Marines and then be a paramedic when I get out. I want to go into law enforcement, but um, I'm working on going into the Air Force first. And I'm going to become a law enforcement officer and join the SWAT unit, just like my grandfather. Beyond the skills of rappelling, biking, and all of the other hands-on challenges, Organizers know these students are learning important values such as teamwork. It's pretty awesome knowing that, yeah, I got people supporting me. I've always wanted to be an officer and this has just boosts my confidence. We all go as a team, so we never leave anybody behind. And as we showed down the track today, if somebody's running and they need help, we go out there. Everybody goes out there and helps them support them. Valuable lessons that these explorers are learning young and will carry throughout their careers. Susan Kamyab for CityStars.